Let's listen as Manny Weiss introduces the contestants. The Buffalo Leelers weighing 258. The Blaisdell Pizza King, Ilio Di Paolo. From Abruzzi, Italy, weighing 245, Ilio Di Paolo. From Buffalo, New York, Ilio Di Paolo. Now let's get the rest there. Body scissor by Di Paolo. Good one. But I have no fear for Elio DiPaolo. He's a very clean, upright young man. Elio DiPaolo, Hans Schmidt, tag team with Dick Brower, teaming up with Hans. And Bruno Sammartino in the corner of Elio. <laughs> In the western New York area, there is one name that is synonymous with wrestling, and that name is Ilio DiPaolo. On November 8, 1926, Ilio DiPaolo was born in the small town of Introdacqua, Italy. From an infant, Ilio was primarily raised by his mother along with his younger sister. And at an early age, Ilio helped his mother around the house after school, but soon began working on some of the nearby farms to help contribute to the household. Life was very simple, but difficult. Farming was the main industry in the hills surrounding Intradacqua. Ilio worked hard on the farms to help support his family. So hard, in fact, that a choice had to be made when he reached the fifth grade. The nearest school was in the next town, which was too far for him to walk to. And that was the end of Ilio DiPaolo's formal education. Ilio's love for wrestling became more than just fun. At 21, he traveled to Venezuela, pursuing a career in a new sport, professional wrestling. I went down there and I asked for a promoter and I challenged anybody in the island for wrestling. Boxing, weight life, and do whatever they want to do. You know, I, I challenge them on my business in wrestling. Interestingly, Ilio's bouts included a match against top 10 boxer Emilio Argamonte. In the third round, Ilio pinned Argamonte and became the only professional wrestler to defeat a boxer at that time. One year later, a promoter saw Ilio wrestle in Venezuela and brought him to the United States. It was August. 1951. From there, he gained respect in the wrestling world, and his career continued with much success. Ilio's personal life soon became a success as well when he met Ethel Martinez. With Ethel's help, Ilio then obtained American citizenship, and they began to raise a family. Ilio DiPaolo's professional wrestling career continued until 1965. He achieved eminence in single and tag team competitions, traveling to New York, Canada, Hawaii, and Japan. During his lifetime, he held the world tag team title for two years, gained tag team honors for the All Asia Championship in Japan, and later competed with World Championship Distinction in Toronto and Winnipeg. Ilio also embraced the family of wrestlers he had come to know and love. When we traveled and uh, wrestled in Canada, and on the way back, uh, my uh, hometown is Niagara Falls. And of course, after we got back, it was uh, early in the morning. Uh, those are days to remember, really, what kind of fun we used to have. Uh, stopped by my house and uh, my mother and God bless his whole my dad They would come out with the big super sot and the prejude and uh, The good times he used to have is about two three in the morning We used to drink up a gallon of wine 
and uh, eat up all that uh, salami and the super salad, the Italian bread, and sing a lot of songs. In his own family, Ilio wanted his wife and children close to him, and they often traveled with him to many of his matches. With the DiPaolo children, Dennis, Barbara, Michael, and finally Lisa, wrestling soon became secondary, and Ilio DiPaolo retired in 1965. But Ilio DiPaolo was not destined to be a has-been. A long-time dream had sparked his ambition to open a small pizzeria restaurant in that same year. We started with a cook, a waitress, a pizza maker, and I stayed there. Well, we washed dishes, we mopped at night, and we had a lot of beautiful people that came and helped us through because we knew nothing, nothing about the restaurant business. In the early years, I remember when the uh, restaurant was just uh, a small pizzeria, and they used to make the sauce. And uh, this man would make the sauce, and he would sleep in the front office and then go back and stir the sauce, go take another little nap. Ilio DiPaolo had started something beyond what he could ever imagine. Soon, Dennis and Michael were helping in the restaurant, now called Ilio DiPaolo's Restaurant and Ringside Lounge. Mainly known locally for famous tomato sauce, Ilio's pleasant demeanor and warm hospitality brought the people in. With the effort and hard work of his family, he knew the establishment would grow. Ilio also knew what he wanted for his family. He wanted his children to have something he never had, an education. Though with the good comes the bad, and very sad death of his daughter, Lisa. After Lisa uh, died, you know, things, uh, you gotta keep on going. You have, a, you, have a, you have a business and you gotta keep on going. And you have a, you have a different outlook on it and, uh, for the family, for the people, for, for, the, for every way of life. You, you look at it a completely different way. And, and uh, that's why I think I got involved a little bit more. Uh, I got a different perspective about how important the family is, how, how important, how important it is to help other people. And uh, that's how I get involved with the Rotary, more deeper and, more, and, and more, much more than I did before. Since 1965, Ilio de Paolo's famous family recipes continue to make their way into the homes of Western New York. Taste the authentic Italian flavor of Ilio's marinara over pasta, seafood, meats, or breads. Made from a blend of fresh tomatoes, garlic, and onions, Ilio's marinara is a nutritious sauce, low in sodium with only one gram of fat per serving. Try Ilio's Italian dressing marinade, too. It's the perfect way to prepare a salad or marinate any entree. Bring a little bit of Italy home with Ilio de Paolo's genuine Italian favorites. Dining tradition since 1965. Ilio de Paolo's restaurant serves up delicious Italian and American cuisine in a charming family atmosphere. Raise a glass to find food and good times. You never know who you might see there. Visit Ilio de Paolo's restaurant and Ringside Lounge, 3785 South Park Avenue in Blaisdell. Call Ilio's at 716 825 3675. Family fun with a gourmet touch. You can bring home the authentic Italian gourmet touch of Ilio Di Paolo's restaurant with our own marinara sauce, seasoned breadcrumbs, and Italian dressing. Now available at supermarkets all across western New York. Here at home, great things happen around the kitchen table.
There's fun, there's family, and oh, the food. Make it gourmet with Ilio de Paolo's authentic Italian cuisine. Available at Topps, Wegmans, Jubilee, Quality, Yellow Goose Markets, and BJ's. Welcome to Ilya de Paul's restaurant. It's a family affair here, as we carry on tradition of my grandfather of serving great food, sharing stories, talking sports, and celebrating with friends and family at the Ringside Lounge. 